Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 105 of our trek and yesterday we discussed the nine rules of making a great cup of coffee and a great life. Today we want to explore why all trails eventually end, specifically the trails of success and failure. In celebration of the 100th day of our Wisdom Trek, please check out wisdom-trek.com and sign up for the free Wisdom Trek t-shirt drawing that will take place on October 5th. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. It is somewhat cooler and a little rainy today, and we are hoping that it clears up completely before the grand fireworks display this evening in Marietta as it celebrates the 40th annual Sternwheel Festival. Our friends Bev and Katie arrived last night from Charlotte and will be spending Saturday and Sunday with us. While I'm preparing my message for church tomorrow and working on this podcast, Paula is showing them around Marietta, which has many grand old homes and is a beautiful small town. Marietta was on the western frontier of the fledging nation after the U.S. declared independence from Britain. This area is noted for its military outpost, which was called Fort Harmer. My family has a long history of living in Marietta, dating back to the early settlers. Marietta is the oldest organized settlement in the Northwest Territory, and according to Wikipedia, on October 7, 1788, Ebenezer Sprout and a group of American pioneers went to the Northwest Territory, led by Rufus Putnam, and arrived at the confluence of the Ohio and Muskingum Rivers to establish Marietta, Ohio, as the first permanent American settlement in the Northwest Territory. It seems somewhat humorous to refer to southeastern Ohio as the Northwest Territory, but at the time when our nation was new, it really was. Rufus Putnam was a direct ancestor of mine, so the bond to Marietta is quite strong. Even General George Washington was also one of the surveyors of the land in and around Marietta. This adventurous and entrepreneurial spirit runs deep in my blood, and one topic I am passionate about is success and failure, and gaining the proper wisdom from both. So let's head out on our trail today and discover and understand that every trail, whether it is success or failure, will always come to an end, and it is up to us to be prepared for both trails. Whether it is an entrepreneur who thinks that they are the boss, a person who works for someone else, or a person with the highest calling of all, a mom or dad who has the privilege of staying at home focused on their children, the outcome of their stories are all too common. After years of hard work pouring their lives into their calling, the trail takes an unexpected and seemingly disastrous turn. So often when we experience success in any of these areas of life, we start taking credit for it, and we feel it was based solely on what we did. We push aside colleagues who have helped us to succeed. We abandon the values and principles that have made us successful. We start making decisions and choices that are unwise. We may also start believing that because we are successful in one area of life, we become experts in everything. It is true that not everyone treats success the same. Some people who achieve success do remain humble, never forgetting who they are and whence they came. For many though, and maybe for yourself, we don't remain humble. On our trek today, let us learn how to stay off the trail of pride and ego as we eat these 12 tiny pieces of humble pie. Piece number one, success is temporary, but so is failure. Success is a journey, not a destination. When you become successful, don't rest on your laurels. As soon as you take the eye off the ball, you risk losing your edge. Piece number two, stop feeding your ego and it will die. Don't isolate yourself from reality by building relationships with people who stroke your ego. Surrounding yourself with yes people is just like talking to yourself. Piece number three, compete against yourself, not others. When you compete against others, it is easy to emphasize winning over self-improvement. However, when you compete against yourself, you both win. Become a better you, not a replica of someone else. Piece number four, even experts have room to learn. Never stop growing. Never stop learning. Know your limitations and admit when you don't know something. It will help to keep you grounded. Piece number five, listen intentionally. Discover what others have to offer and ask for their opinions before opening your mouth. It shows that you value their opinions as well as their insight. Piece number six, no one's perfect, especially you. Don't let success go to your head. Be quick to apologize for your mistakes. You'll never learn anything or impress anyone by making excuses and diverting blame. A little humility will remind you that you're human. Piece number seven, share your success and it will multiply. You may be successful, but there's a good chance that others have helped you along the way. Find creative ways to share the credit and pull people up the ladder of success along with you. Piece number eight, 
Remember your roots. That is where the nutrients come from. Remember where you came from and what you've learned along the way. Help others by mentoring them. Piece number nine, get off your high horse. Treat everyone with dignity and respect. You may be successful, but that doesn't make you better than anyone else. Piece number 10, bragging makes you ugly. There's a difference between excitement and bragging. We know that you're thrilled with your new toy, but others may have to be cutting back on their basic needs. Be sensitive. As the coach John Wooden said, talent is God-given, be humble. Fame is man-given, be grateful. Conceit is self-given, be careful. Piece number 11, be worthy of trust. Money and success can't buy a person's trust or guarantee a good reputation. You earn these through your words and actions. There's nothing more valuable in life than integrity, trust me. And piece number 12, stay humble. Many of us come from humble beginnings. We make something of ourselves through the pursuit of knowledge, integrity, hard work, and a bit of good fortune. By God's grace, you can enjoy the fruit of your success, but just like actual fruit, if you have more than you can consume, share it with others before it spoils you. As it is written in James' letter, chapter 4, verse 5 through 7, do you think the scriptures have no meaning? They say that God is passionate and the spirit he has placed within us should be faithful to him. He gives grace generously. As the scripture says, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourself before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So don't let success go to your head. Be humble. Humility is actually a sign of strength, not weakness. People with humility possess an inner peace. They're modest about their achievements, grounded in their values, and they have nothing to prove to others. They're down to earth, comfortable in their own skin, and quietly satisfied with their own life. As C.S. Lewis said, Humility is not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less. As we have consumed these 12 nuggets on our trail today, let us remember them and keep moving forward. With this nourishment inside you, please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And tomorrow we will learn why life is not a spectator sport. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, YouTube, or at wisdom-trek.com. If you enjoy our daily doses of wisdom, these little nuggets we consume each day, I encourage you to take the time to invest in yourself in these three ways. Invest with your time in improving Wisdom Trek by leaving your name, email address, and a comment on our website so that we can provide you with the wisdom and insights that best fit your needs. Number two, invest in yourself by listening to your seven minutes of wisdom through the Wisdom Trek podcast each day. And the best way to do this is to subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher and have it downloaded to you automatically. And third, invest in the lives of others by sharing with your family and friends in person or online to journey with us on our Wisdom Trek. And if you haven't done so already, please leave us a rating at iTunes or Stitcher so that we'll gain more exposure for others to join us on our Wisdom Trek. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide, mentor, but most importantly, your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.